was in the 80s in the Marcos time and you know that during the Marcos days they opened up the um, the um, experimental cinema of the Philippines spearheaded by the daughter Amy Marcos um, they say that it was used to it was used to um, divert the attention of the masses because we had so much restlessness and they used um, this um, experimental cinema of the Philippines as a channel by which you could show a lot of films without censorship. And you could see people are lining up, not just the male uh, audience, but the female audience as well. And the filmmakers were fired up. How could you notice the, the performance of the government when there is so much to do? Business was flourishing. We had producers uh, left and right. We had fly-by-night producers. Um, experimenting on the film uh, the sexy genre and we have a lot of um, a lot of uh, work and as an actress I was doing four movies a month and it also opened doors to the uh, to the international market I did a French film an American film I did Chinese movies as well I did a German film I did uh, I think three American films an Italian movie and it was it was good I have never seen the height of Philippine cinema until those days in 